A packed news conference in Lagos, but the issues raised largely affect another part of Nigeria that is several hundreds of miles away. It is the security situation in the Northeast. Insurgency group has over time made life unbearable there, and so as the military confronted the deadly group with even a deadline to defeat the terrorists by the end of December. It is just a few hours before the end of December, and the Nigerian government is calling the military a pass mark. Our gallant military has largely met the deadline. The deadline. I make this assertion with all sense of responsibility. For those who believe that the federal government has been hasty in judging itself on the campaign, Nigeria's Minister of Information wants such people to consider some of these facts, even as he promises that the search for the abducted Chibok girls is continuing. The military has massively degraded the capacity of the terrorists to carry out the kind of spectacular attacks they used to execute in the past. Boko Haram that was in control of a territory larger than an entire geographical zone in Nigeria has been reduced to a fleeing, bomb-throwing, cowardly and disorganized army. Part of the reasons why we cannot take some extreme measures along the Sambisa forest is because we still believe that it's likely they are being held there. Now, even when this war is over technically, the search for the Chiburgers will not end. The government spokesperson agrees that the war against insurgency cannot be completely won on the battlefield. And this is why he says the government has kick-started a campaign to get the civil populace actively involved in stamping out terrorism from any part of Nigeria.